Prepare to be captivated as Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 18 delves deep into the heart of the unfolding drama. The episode kicks off with an intense focus on Canute and his unwavering determination, as he leads his forces towards Kettle's farm with the wind at their backs. The favorable winds promise a swift arrival within the next few days. Floki marvels at Canute's hands-on approach, while Wolf reminds him of the meticulous planning behind Canute's every move. However, tensions simmer as Floki questions Wolf's unyielding loyalty to the king, emphasizing his own independent nature. Canute, ever perceptive, probes their thoughts on whether Kettle and his family will oppose them. Wolf and Floki exchange tales of Kettle's legendary might, yet Canute remains unconvinced, believing submission to be the wiser choice to preserve valuable resources. In response, Floki hints at the necessity of making an example out of Kettle and his family for daring to defy the king's authority. Canute's resolve hardens, vowing to show no mercy should they refuse to yield, while the ghostly spectre of King Swain, lurking in the shadows, seems to relish the impending confrontation. Canute muses on the distance between them and their desired destination, observing the daunting waves that lie ahead. We are then transported to Kettle's return to his homestead, greeted by the familiar harbour where his journey began. Onlookers mistake Thorgil, Kettle's companion, for Kettle himself, and their disappointment is palpable. Thorgil, undeterred, hurls a barrel containing Kettle towards the awaiting retainers, shattering it against a rocky outcrop and revealing a traumatized Kettle within. Recognizing Kettle's distress, Thorgil urges the retainers to offer him solace, a strong drink, and much-needed rest. However, the gravity of the situation dawns upon them as they contemplate the identity of their impending adversary, the timing of their arrival, and the events that have befallen Kettle. In the midst of this turmoil, Leif Erikson's men attempt to seal their deal with Thorgil, but he deflects their inquiries, redirecting them to Kettle, who is preoccupied. Thorgil then singles out Olmar, instructing him to stand by his side and learn the ways of combat, cautioning that this battle may be their final one, given the strength of their opponent. As Thorgil questions Olmar's satisfaction at finally attaining his desires, Olmar's countenance reveals an unexpected inner struggle. In the meantime, Leaf's crew persist in their pursuit of Kettle, reminding him of their agreement to purchase their cargo at triple the market price. However, Kettle's only response is to utter the name, Arnhide, evoking a yearning for his beloved concubine. Meanwhile, Snake's mercenaries engage in a discussion about the imminent battle and Thorgil's orders to fortify the walls of the fortress. Concerns are voiced regarding the limited time available to prepare the defenses adequately, while speculation about the identity of their enemy arises, promising revelations when the soldiers gather. Within the confines of captivity, Einar and Thorfinn find themselves contemplating the mercenaries' evident distress. Einar wonders about the fate that awaits Arnheid for her attempted escape, seeking Thorfinn's opinion on whether she will face punishment. Thorfinn, somberly acknowledging the loss of numerous lives, indicates the severity of the situation. However, Einar reminds him of Kettle's affection for Arnheid, expressing hope that her punishment will be lenient. Thorfinn interjects, emphasizing the crucial detail that she carries Kettle's child. Einar's head hangs in concern for Arnheid's safety, while Thorfinn, filled with remorse, offers an apology. Yet, Einar asserts that Thorfinn need not apologize, recognizing his act of breaking his oath to aid Arnheid and Gardar. Einar remarks that sometimes one must fight, extending his gratitude to his friend. Thorfinn, grappling with his conflicted emotions, confesses his admiration for Snake, recognizing him as a compassionate and principled man. He candidly admits his reluctance to engage in combat with Snake, even conceding to Garda's demise as a result. In his characteristic humility, Thorfinn questions whether there could have been an alternative, a better path that would have avoided the devastating loss of lives. The episode then takes a poignant turn, as Kettle returns home, his visage still haunted by the horrors he witnessed. He desperately calls out for Arnheid upon entering his residence, searching every nook and cranny. When his search yields no results, he ventures outside, hoping to find her there. Finally, he encounters his wife, seemingly indifferent to her comments as he passes her silently. Kettle proceeds to a nearby shack, fervently calling out Arnheid's name, his anxiety mounting. His wife sighs before explaining that Arnheid has been bound and confined in the stable. This revelation jolts Kettle back to life, his shock evident. As his wife recounts Arnheid's acts of defiance during his absence, she refers to her as an ungrateful slave, leaving Kettle questioning the very concept of escape. Kettle, still grappling with the concept of escape, finds himself confronted by his wife, who reveals the shocking truth about Garda's role in her disappearance. The revelation leaves a trail of destruction in its wake, as lives are lost, and the weight of responsibility falls squarely on Kettle's shoulders. In a poignant display of frustration, Kettle questions the relentless slipping away of everything he holds dear, his voice echoing the word, escape, with each exhalation. The episode then takes us back to the mercenary camp, where Snake adamantly refuses to let Leaf and his companion see Thorfinn. 
Leaf, determined to validate Thorfinn's identity, seeks confirmation from Kettle, setting off on a mission to resolve the matter once and for all. Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 18 delves into the depths of Kettle's turmoil as Leaf approaches him for answers. Leaf, apologetic for interrupting Kettle's busy schedule, engages in a conversation with Pater, a trusted confidant. Leaf discovers that something is amiss, prompting Pater to confide in him about a personal matter, a request to purchase a slave. Leaf, taken aback, assures Pater that he was promised Thorfinn without any monetary obligations. However, Pater stresses the complexity of Arnheid's situation, acknowledging the challenges she presents. Leaf finds himself faced with a significant decision when Pater proposes acquiring two additional slaves alongside Thorfinn. The weight of responsibility and moral dilemmas hang heavy in the air. As the episode unfolds, we return to Thorfinn and Einar, their silence speaking volumes. Einar's mind drifts to Arnheid, locked away in the stables under the watchful eye of a mercenary. With a mix of boredom and malice, the mercenary taunts Arnheid, questioning her actions and belittling her seemingly meek demeanor. Arnheid remains expressionless, her gaze fixed upon the cold floor beneath her. In a heart-stopping moment, the mercenary encroaches upon Arnheid, his intent clear. However, before his vile intentions can materialize, Kettle storms into the scene, weapon in hand, demanding an explanation. Kettle, his voice stern and unyielding, forces the mercenary to retreat. Kettle, filled with confusion and anguish, questioning Arnheid's audacious escape attempt. His voice trembles with a mix of anger and hurt, desperately seeking answers from the woman he trusted. But Arnheid remains silent, her closed eye shielding her from the painful confrontation. In a shocking turn, Kettle's emotions explode into violence. He strikes Arnheid mercilessly with a piece of wood, her body hurtling through the air, and cries of pain fill the stables. Kettle's relentless assault reflects his shattered pride and the sense of betrayal gnawing at his soul. Amidst the brutal beating, Arnheid reveals that she carries Kettle's child, desperately pleading for mercy. Tears stream down Kettle's face as he grapples with conflicting emotions. The past resurfaces, memories of a lost love and the torment he once endured. Each blow he delivers becomes a twisted manifestation of his struggle to trust and believe in others. Just as the violence reaches its peak, Snake intervenes, preventing Kettle from inflicting further harm. The scene is suffused with palpable tension as Kettle's inner turmoil clashes with the presence of witnesses. Pater, Leaf, and Bug Eyes stand in horrified silence, their discomfort echoing the viewer's own unease. Leaf, attempting to salvage the situation, offers to buy Arnheid, revealing his knowledge of Thorfinn's companions who are also slaves. Kettle's response is chilling, asserting his ownership of Arnheid while allowing Leaf to take Thorfinn and Einar. The exchange highlights the depths of Kettle's possessiveness and the distorted sense of ownership he feels. The episode concludes with a haunting image of Arnheid, battered and bedridden. Einar's rage simmers as he gazes upon her, while Kettle vows that the thieves responsible will not escape punishment. The narrative thrusts viewers into a pit of despair, where the ugliness of humanity and the fragility of trust are laid bare. Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 18, is an emotionally gut-wrenching installment that pushes the boundaries of storytelling. The juxtaposition of Kettle's internal struggle, his violent outburst and the underlying themes of trust and betrayal creates a harrowing viewing experience. It is a testament to the series' ability to explore the darkest corners of human nature while captivating audiences with its raw intensity. Don't forget to leave a comment with your own favorite moments, and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more exciting Vinland Saga content.